The just shall live by faith. Le juste vivra par la foi. That's the title of today's message. C'est sujet message nous aujourd'hui. And it's based out of Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. Il est basé sur Habakkuk chapitre 2 verset 4. And I have it on the the projector screen. I put it in all languages. Because I want everyone to understand what one of the basis of our life with God is. Qui base la vie nous avec Jésus. Yeah. And it's faith. Yes. It says, Behold the proud, his soul is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. Éclairé au gros soleil, c'est clair absorti dans la main. C'est là qu'il cache tout pouvoir. Abacu 2, verset 4. Et à qui que à quel cuya alma no es recta, se enorgullece, mas el gusto por su fe vivirá. I want to go over a few points. If, please, you can go to the next slide. So they were going to cover who are the just, number one. What is faith? What are the hindrances to living by faith? And how to live by faith? Qui sa objectif vive par la foi et comment qu'on capable vivre par la foi? The book of Romans, chapter 1. Dans le livre Romains, chapitre 1er. Verse 17. Verse 17. There's going to be a lot of scripture that is going to be on the projector screen, so I encourage you to write it because. This is something that we really proclaim that we have because we have this relationship with God. And, and whoever has accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ comme sauveur, they believe so strongly in this God that says He loves us. And because we believe so strongly, we took that extra step of faith. Et parce que nous croyons que nous, that, parce que nous croyons et nous devons gagner la foi. That even parole. though I don't see what's in front of me yet. Même si que un peu quoi ça qui devant non. I know that there's a God that exists. Mais moi connais que bon Dieu qui existait. Yeah. Romans chapter one verse seventeen says, "For in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith." Romains chapitre 1, verset 17. Let us go to Galatians chapter 3, verse 11. Romains chapitre 1, verset 17. But that none is justified by the law in the sight of God is evident, for the just shall live by faith. Galatians 3, 11. Il travaille ça, il commence avec uh, confiance, mon gain dans bon Dieu. Il finit dans la même confiance là tout. Jean Saté écrit. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 38. Hébreu chapitre 10 verset 38. We're going to spend a little time in Hebrews today, but it all, it's all going to point back to Habakkuk chapter 2. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 38 says Hebrews chapter 10 verse 38 dit comme ça Now the just shall live by faith but if anyone draws back my soul has no pleasure in him Verse 38 Il dit comme ça Mon mon moins fait grâce là à vivre parce que les gars ont confiance en dans moi. Mais si les si les vies si les vies redoublent tourner fait back, les pas fait que moins content. Now I want to go into more of who are the just. Anyone know who are the just? Est-ce que nous connais qui ça justice? Qui est mon qui juste? We are the just. By the blood of Jesus Christ. Let me explain this. Ça veut dire que nous tous qui l'a nous juste à travers le sang de Jésus. Those who accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior to their lives. Monde qui accepte Jésus-Christ comme Sauveur et Seigneur dans la vie. We have 
at that moment exchanged our sinful nature, the wrong that we have committed, for the righteousness of Christ. Dans le même moment ça, eh bien, eh, la vie nous changer. Ça veut dire que nous pas nous nou confesser avec péché, nous yo, nous accepter Christ. So that's what makes us just because we proclaim, we confess. C'est ça qui fait nous juste parce que nous 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 déclarer, nous confesser. We believe in our heart and we confess with our mouths. Nous croyons dans cœur nous et nous confesser avec bouche nous. And so we have been made the righteousness of God through Christ. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, chapter 5. It says that God made him who had no sin become sin for us because we were sin. So the moment that God had made Christ become sin on that cross and he was crucified for our forgiveness is the moment that God allowed Jesus Christ to transfer his righteousness onto us. So now we're dressed with the righteousness of Jesus Christ. We take Jesus Christ out of the picture, then we all deserve hell. That's the truth. But the truth is that we're just okay, the moment that we accept Christ. Yes. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. Christ la pas fait aucun péché. Mais bon Dieu fait le prend sort nous sous lui. Yo traité le tant qu'il y a un monde qui fait péché. Comme ça, les nous fait un seul corps. A Christ là, bon Dieu fait nos grâces. Thank you, Father. The just are also those who hold to God and trust in Him. Mon qui juste là, il était avec bon Dieu et il croit en bon Dieu. Well, how do I know? How can I trust God? You might ask. Comment que capable qu'on est? Qui j'en suis capable de croire en bon Dieu? It's thinking. It's it's speaking. It's living. C'est façon que nous penser, façon que nous bouge, façon que nous nous parler, façon que nous vivre. Qui est ce bon Dieu? And in order to trust God, we have to look in here. Pour nous capable croire en bon Dieu, et ben nous besoin gagner la Bible. Amen. God hears our prayers and he delivers us from all of our fears. How many of that believe that here? Anybody have any fears? Are you afraid of anything at this moment? No fear. Combien monde qui croit que bon Dieu prend tout temps peur yo pour nous même? I have some. Moi même moi j'ai quelques fears. But I realize that Mais... my confidence in the Lord. Moi moi j'ai quelques peurs dans moi même mais moi réaliser que le roi de mon Dieu qui te balance le salut helps me be secure. Il aide me rester sécurisé. And he is love, right? Nous connais que c'est l'amour. First John chapter 4. Premier Jean chapitre 4. And love casts out all fear. L'amour élimine toute peur et peur. So what is hindering us from truly living in the faith that 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 is confirms our victory over ça, this world? Ça aide nous vraiment pour nous vivre dans la foi. C'est ça que lié que, que Jésus Christ est accepté par la vie pour nous-mêmes. What is faith? Anybody know what faith is? Qui ça la foyer? Combien de monde qui connaît qui ça la foyer? Est-ce que tout le monde a qui connaît? No. Let me put it this way. What is faith when you're told something that you don't want to hear and it's something that is out of your control? What is faith? Qui ça la foyer? Le peu où dit un bagage que vous pas connaît qui ça que lié. What is faith when it's a cliché? This is very common, but when you go to the doctors and they say that you have this disease or this sickness that can't be healed according to the world, what is faith? Qui ça la foi? L'on a dit qu'il y a un docteur et qu'on a déclaré que vous êtes malade, vous êtes tel malade, tel malade. Qui ça la foi? See, I've I've had my moments where I've had a a possibility of being ill with a lifelong disease, but. My faith is stronger than that disease. Okay, but there's a possibility that we can live with a maladie long time, but the faith. And though sometimes, you know, there's a moment where you're like, "Well, I really don't know if that's going to happen." Sometimes, I'm not really sure what's going to happen. What's going to happen? 
But then the word tells me in Hebrews 11, 1, that faith is the substance of things hoped for. Mais la parole de Dieu dit, moi, dans Hébreu chapitre 11, verset 1er, que la foi est une ferme assurance des choses qu'on espère et une démonstration de celles qu'on ne voit pas. The evidence of things not seen. So it means that I, this is happening now and something bad is happening in my life right now, but faith is believing in what you don't see yet happening. Evidence la foi, c'est que vous parlez, vous parlez de ça, vous parlez de ça, mais ça qui... Bon, c'est que vous connaissez, vous croyez dans ça qui va le faire là, avant même que ça va arriver. Hebrews 11, verse 1, in the Amplified Version, I'm going to read that so that we can break it down a little bit more. Dans Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, it displays it, je prends ça pour nous-mêmes. Now faith is the assurance. La foi, c'est une assurance. So you're sure. The title deed, the confirmation of things hoped for, divinely guaranteed, and the evidence of things not seen. La foi est une ferme assurance des choses qu'on espère et une démonstration de celles qu'on ne croit pas. It's the conviction. It's me saying, you know what? I know, I know, I know that I know. C'est une conviction. Moi, crois, moi, crois, moi, crois que ça va. There's something here that's happening around me that's bad. But God, the God inside of me, the God that I abide in, He is so faithful. And I'm just going to hope because I have a conviction that the God of my salvation has something better for me. Because he says, I have plans to prosper you. It says it in Jeremiah. So why not believe a God who is true in his word? Yeah. If I was to say to you, hey, I'm going to give you $100 at the end of this day. Would you believe me? Let me put it this way. My word compares nothing with God. Right? Because it says, cursed is he who puts his trust in another man, correct? But now that he says that there's an assurance, when you trust in the word of God, it's saying, you know, this man is saying he's going to give me a hundred dollars because he sees me in my, in my need, in my provision, my need of provision. But God says in his word that he shall supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory. So which are you going to believe? The man who lacks or the, or the God who says that he will provide for you? Donc, il est capable de voir, moi, il peut dire que moi, j'ai nécessité, moi, j'ai besoin de 100 dollars parce que le champ, il est peut-être qu'il est capable de besoin d'acheter quelque chose. Mais lui-même, il dit ça. Mais bon Dieu lui-même, il promet donc qu'il a fait provision pour nous de tout ça que nous manquons. Qui est-ce que nous croyons? Est-ce que nous croyons dans monsieur ça ou bien est-ce que nous croyons dans bon Dieu? I know that God puts man in our way to help us, to bless us, and he uses us as vessels to bless his people. But ultimately, but the word of God never returns void. What are the hindrances to living by faith? Self-doubt? Double-mindedness? Ça veut dire que nous qui nous pas quoi nous penser nous. Doublement. Nous n'a pas sié, nous douter. Lack of confidence in God or fear. Nous gain confiance dans mon Dieu. Low self-esteem. Low self-esteem ça veut dire que nous descend tête nous. Pride. Pride ça veut dire orgueil. And the big one is baggage. Et puis gros à ces baggage. Self doubt. I'm just going to confess something before you guys. When I came and when I was told that I was going to bring a message, I said, God, I'm about to preach to a whole bunch of people who have so much experience. God, I'm, I'm young. How am I going to be able to say what you want me to say? But he says, do not say that I am young. He says, do not say that I am young. You will go where I will send you. Ou descend tes douleurs, c'est ça. And you will say what I will put in your mouth. Ici que vous allez mettre parole maintenant bouche. So that's the end of my self doubt. <laughs> ça c'est bien et c'est bon. Yes, double mindedness. Self doubt. Let me just say it. It's a feeling of it's a lack of worth. It's, it's doubting how how worthy you are before the Lord. So those are things that are not of, that are not of God. 
Those are things that he doesn't desire for his people because how are we gonna self-doubt ourselves? It's it's taking for granted the beauty, the preciousness that, had, that God already put in us. So it's time to just let that self-doubt go and just truly trust in the Lord and be strengthened, be strengthened. Dans bon Dieu, nous besoin de dans la beauté que bon Dieu mette dans nous-mêmes, pouer dans la façon que bon Dieu est construit. Nous. James chapter 1, verse 8. That man supposed that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is double minded. He's a double minded man, unstable in all his ways. So, if one moment you're thinking that God is going to give you something because his word says that he is good and that he provides, then the next moment you're saying, I don't know if God can do it. I just don't think that he will. So, I'm kind of going to. So now we're like this. Now we're rocking. And that faith, that belief that we entered into the relationship with the Lord in the very beginning. Anybody here remember when they were saved? Anybody remember? When you confessed Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Where is that faith? That brought us into a loving relationship with God. Qui entre en relation ça avec mon Dieu. Through His grace. À, à travers la grâce. I was in a living room. I remember by myself. Moi j'étais dans une chambre pour moi. And I was in a very toxic part and uh, moment of my life. Moi j'étais dans euh, un moment qui était vraiment poisonous, toxic, toxic, dangerous, difficile pour moi. It was dangerous. Um, I, I was in toxic relationships. I was in a toxic job. And I truly wanted something better. I wanted I wanted what I heard that this God could give me. I was in a toxic job. And so I lifted my hands in the living room. And I confessed through my mouth. Jesus is my Lord and Savior. Jesus About five or six years. Five And I remember the passion and I remember the, the confidence that I had in my God at that moment. And it felt like nothing could touch me at that moment. But then I went through trouble and tribulations. Through many trials and tribulations, we shall inherit the kingdom of God. I didn't understand that then. And through these trials and these tribulations, it started kind of knocking me down. It started just hitting me and beating me and, and putting me down. And I had, I, I struggled with severe depression and suicidal thoughts. I had low self esteem and I had a lack of confidence. C'est parce que et 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 self esteem était vraiment bas. Vous comprenez? Et puis il pas de confiance dans mon Dieu. In the same God that I believed in so much and accepted Jesus Christ. Mais mon Dieu ça a rien que moi était quoi dans lui même non? So Hebrews 10 chapter 35 verse 36 it said. Chapter 10 verse 35 through 36. It says, therefore do not cast away your confidence which has great reward. For you have need of endurance so that you, so that after you have done the will of God, you may receive the promise. So I started to lose my confidence in God and what happened? I started to get tired. I started to try to do things on my own and I started to say, you know what? God, parce que il gagne confiance dans moi-même mais si il virait d'ol tourner fait bac il pas fait que content so i didn't understand that me lacking confidence in god and having a low self esteem was slowly breaking me away il pas comprendre que lui même comprendre pour être capable et 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 pas et croire dans mon dieu il était dans mon dieu que c'était croire avant qu'il y a là il pas croire dans lui même encore And even after I was 
looking for the Lord or I had accepted God and after God had found me in my deepest pit et le sage Jésus-Christ est joué dans le profond douleur, dans le profond problème que tu es. I was still kind of doubting him for some time, and I said, you know what? Now I'm starting. Now we're going through the motions, because that's des, what happens when we're saved. Il est toujours des doutes là dans les mêmes malgré ça. Through many trials and tribulations, you will inherit the kingdom of God. His word says. En pile tribulation, en pile problème que. So I started appelé. going through these trials, and I said, you know what? No, because I'm struggling here. God, where are you? Mais c'est comme ça, le 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 problème ça, yo, vous n'y allez non, bon Dieu côté où il est. But I didn't realize that the the less I was trusting God, the more I was moving away from Dieu. Mais pas jamais réalisé, puis puis c'est que des quoi non bon Dieu que il était capable de délivrer moi. And the lower I was looking at myself. Et le mal garder moi-même. I went and even being saved, I was still struggling with with drunkenness. Et even at the beginning of my years of being saved, I was struggling with drugs. It a bouleversé, it a tracassé dans un fait drogue. So I moved away from the Lord. Mais qui est bon Dieu? But He is so good that He had a hold on me, because it says, "Draw near to me, and I will draw near to you." Bon Dieu, ça, bon Dieu, tellement bon et bien lité, ram. Il te rallé moi, il te retire dans mauvaise position ça que me tenir. Il te restaure moi. We have a lack of confidence in God and we have a low self esteem. We become prideful. Lord pas croire dans bon Dieu, Lord 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 au descend Lord et self et descend self Lord et low self esteem. Il se fait. We become prideful when we have a lack of confidence. Il le le Lord pas croire dans bon Dieu et bien problème dans puis en pire pour vous même. Hebrews 10 verse 38 says Hébreu chapitre 10 verset 38 dit Now the just shall live by faith but if anyone draws back my soul has no pleasure in him Draw back That's Il dit comme ça Moun moi moun moi fait grâce là à vivre parce que il gagne confiance dans moi même Si il vire d'ol tourner fait back il pas fait comme content What does it mean drawing back Qui ça ça veut dire aller go back no, God can't do this quick enough. I'm going to handle that right now. Let me just do what I need to do, and God can take over when, when I feel like it. Let me, just... Better yet, let me exalt myself above God. Let me exalt myself over His thoughts because I can do it better. That's the same sin that made Lucifer fall. No, but in a position that be robbed by the good God. What I'm saying here is we have to eliminate pride. Ça veut dire que nous besoin de retirer orgueil dans nous-mêmes. Pas bon Dieu placé. Songez que nous-mêmes nous c'est l'homme. Bon Dieu c'est bon Dieu. Pride says that we can do things on our own and we don't need God's help. Le roi pratiqué fait fait bagarre pour bon tout. Ça montre qu'on pas besoin de bon Dieu. Mais ça ça pas bon. And it is a sin. Ça son péché que Dieu. I remember uh, God I I had help him some time. I, I had helped somebody at work, and they came back to me. And they said, oh, thank you so much, Melissa, for, for helping me. And saying the right words. And inside, I was like, oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, God. You know, God be the glory. I got to sometimes be a little bit politically correct. But inside, I heard a voice that was saying, I heard a voice inside that was saying. Et moi tendais une voix à l'intérieur de moi-même. Non non non. Don't put yourself above me because I was the one that inspired you to say what you said. Avec tout puis au passé parce que moi sous tête. So it humbled me down and I said, wait a minute. I prayed before I spoke to this person. Il était prié avant que tu parlais avec mon Dieu. I consulted the Lord for the right words to say. Moi, tu consultais mon Dieu pour te donner les paroles pour moi te dire. So now that person is thanking me because I said the right words. Mais quand il y a mon ça, la petite merci parce que moi dit vrai vraie parole. But God was the source and is the source of those right words. C'est mon Dieu qui source parole là. C'est lui même qui mérite gloire. So who am I to place myself above the thoughts of God? Ça, vous m'avez déterminé plus haut que mon Dieu. So God gave me the little. Mon Dieu m'a aidé là avec. And he said, No, no, no. Il dit non, 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 pas fait ça. And I understood that that very same thing. Praise the Lord. 
Um, lastly, hindrance to living by faith is baggage. Oh my gosh. And it's carrying, but it's not yours to carry anymore. It's carrying, so it's in a pote, but I shall not be fado, he pap, we bap fado no more. That it's good, like if fado, you might go to. And I have to be honest, it, it took me all of my life. I'm 26 years old. And it took me all of my life <laughs> to learn, to learn. How to get rid of baggage, how to get rid of the things that just really doesn't matter. And it comes from how we grew up. It comes from the things that we look at. It comes from the things that we hear. It comes from the things that we think. That's baggage. See, we bring this this bucket. And we're just like, and we're coming to God and we're like, holding this bucket of garbage that we had from our upbringing. And we're saying, and sometimes, listen to this, baggage is what's keeping us from getting closer to God. Because we think that we have to bring that stuff to him in order for him to, to do something. So we bring this bucket in. We bring psychological abuse because I was severely psychologically abused. So I bring this this baggage of abuse. And I'm like, I can't, I can't do this anymore. And God is saying, wait, hold this. You, you don't even have to hold it anymore because you are believing in me and I want to fill your bucket with grace. So stop thinking that you have to carry that. Stop thinking that that's what I need to do a work in you. Stop thinking that that's what I need to do a work in you. Stop thinking that that's what I need to do a work in you. Because in Christ we are new. And all those old things have passed away. So we are a new creature in God in Jesus Christ. So why are we carrying baggage that no longer belongs to us? God says in his word, come to me all you who are heavy and burdened. And I will give you rest. But it also says, in Hebrews chapter 12, verse, uh, verse, chapter 12, verse 12, verse 12, it's beautiful because it, it, this can go so much deeper, but I had to contain myself and I said, God, you're just doing something in my life. And I just want to thank you, Father. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 12. It says, therefore, strengthen your hands, which hang down. Hang down, you know? Can't do it anymore. And the feeble needs. How many of you have carried something so heavy that you feel you can't even stand anymore? I have. And make straight paths for your feet so that what is lame may not be dislocated. Because if you're walking like this and your knees are weak, you're going to dislocate something because you're not straight. You're trying to walk and you're carrying weight that you don't need to be carrying. But rather be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed, ça veut dire que nous besoin guéri de vous-même. Well, how do I be healed? Comment que capable de guérir? How do I live by faith? Comment que capable de vivre par la foi? How do I have this victory over the world if you don't understand what I'm going through right now. I want to be with all of my family. I want to have a better life for my children. I don't have children, but I'm sure that a lot of parents here want that for their children. My parents did, and they do. Well, how do I live by faith when I'm being peer pressured in school? I was peer pressured in school too. How do I live by faith and be that light in the world if if every time I try to confess this faith before people, 
à chaque fois que moi essayé pour confesser ma foi ça devant being persecuted and judged because I believe in this God. Well, Jesus was persecuted too, but did it stop him from going to the cross? It didn't. Because Jesus knew that him obeying to the point of death on that cross will bring a greater glory to his Father and will bring freedom, a witness, a testimony to our lives. Jésus Okay, well, Alors c'est comme ça, nous-mêmes, nous besoin de How to live by faith. Let's think right. Let's start thinking right. What Comment are you thinking? La la foi, What is in your heart? Because Proverbs 23, verse 7 says, For as he thinks in his heart, so is he. Proverbs 23, verse 7, que Whatever you're thinking, quelque chose à vous penser, whatever comes out, c'est ça qui sortit de vous. So what are you thinking? Qui ça nous pensez? Are you thinking that God is just and He is good and He is pure? Est-ce que nous pensez que mon Dieu c'est un bon Dieu qui est juste et qui pur? Are you thinking that you aren't worth anything? Est-ce que vous pensez que vous n'êtes pas rien? Because it says that He fashioned us before in our mother's womb. Il était fait nous avant même que nous étions dans votre maman. So if God fashioned you in the womb of your mother. Bon, tu t'es quand on devient en grand mère, tu es dans votre maman. That's a beautiful thing because did you know that at two weeks. Pour moi même ça c'est une belle bagarre. At two weeks is when the baby, the fetus begins to have its heart. Deux deux semaines que tu me n'as gagné en vingt ou les gars gagnent yon 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 cœur qui est en commence à battre. But before that fetus has that heartbeat. Mais avant que et et que tu me n'as commencé à battre. He was already thought of before the foundations of the world were laid down. Il était dans la pensée, mon Dieu, avant même que que tu commencé là. So, let us think right. En nos pensées, straight, en nos pensées droit. Romans chapter 10. God, I, I, I have to be honest with you. I have been trying to discipline myself to read the word of God more because all of the doubt that I have been through and all of the abuse that I have been through in my life, it's It's really beating me down. So it's been hard for me to see who I am in the eyes of the Lord. But when I come to the Word and I meditate on it, He's been showing me who I am. I have to think right and I have to hear right. I remember saying that. Faith comes by hearing. La foi vient de sa contente. And hearing what? The word of God. Exactly. Nous tendez les vignes de parole, mon Dieu. So how do I think right, Melissa? Comment tu es capable de penser bien? Go to the word. Allez dans parole là. Go to a place where they're preaching. Allez dans place où tu vas prêcher. Parole, mon Dieu. Because it comes by hearing the word of God. Il dit nous n'avons pas voulu la partir dans nos oreilles. Second Corinthians chapter five. Il vient à partir de la foi, il vient nous tendre par bon mon Dieu. Second Corinthians chapter five verse seventeen. I'm almost done. Deux Corinthiens cinq verset dix sept. Deux Corinthiens cinq verset dix sept. This is my favorite part. Ça c'est la partie qui est importante pour moi. Je me remets en bien. Therefore, cependant, if anyone is in Christ. Si on monte dans Jésus Christ, He is a new creation. Il c'est une nouvelle créature. All things have passed away. Toute bagarre ancienne est passée. Behold. Et toute nouvelle yo. All things. Et toute l'autre bagarre yo. Have become new. Bien nouvelle. So I'm new. Et moi même moi c'est nouveau. I don't care what you guys saw me do years ago. I'm speaking in general, but I know that I am new. Quelque chose depuis combien années passées? Qui t'es au dernier? Parce que nous c'est l'autre monde. I might have had attitude problems in my past. Or be this rude little person. But I don't care, even though I struggle, because sometimes I still do. I'm new. And today is today for me. And God is the same today, tomorrow, forever. Speaking right. Listen, the worship music in the car, right? Somebody cut you off. Oh my gosh. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> How many of us go through that? <laughs> oh, why do you guys do that? It's gotta be a man or it's gotta be a woman. Amen. What are we speaking? You have to speak right. Death and life are at the power of the tongue. This little muscle right here is the most strong <laughs> out of all these little biceps and everything. And those who love it will eat its fruit. What are we speaking? What are we speaking into our own selves? What are we speaking into the life of others? There's a prayer that I have held here even before I got married. Because I was one who was always very double-minded. I self-doubted. I self-doubted. I always doubted. And I would speak things out of my mouth like fire. And it would hurt people. In fact, when I was called to come down to Florida about four years ago, in effect, I would say the first three months of my life here, the three first months of my life here, I cried every single day. I cried every single day. I mean, I'm talking, my floor was drenched in tears. Because I had spoken things out of this mouth that spoke so much death into the life of people. And it was so hard for me to get over the fact that now I'm in the presence of the Lord, but I'm not in the presence of the Lord. But I was suffering because I said, God, how many of those lives are actually living what I said in their lives? Combien vie qu'a vive à à à combien monde qu'a vive avec les paroles que moi t'ai dit yo. Ça veut dire que t'as fait une sorte de confession à mon Dieu pour ça que son Dieu t'est comme un petit monde qui pas bon avec bouche ni. And so I suffered because you don't deserve that. And it was hard for me to forgive myself. And say that that was the number one person that I had to learn how to forgive was me. And I was forgiven and I forgave myself. Speak what is right. Speak life. Build your spouse up. Build your children up. Build your household up. Don't break it down. You have to speak life because what you speak what you sow is what you reap. Amen. Sow planté, c'est les mêmes recorté. Meditating on what is right, how to live by faith. This is the last point we're going to go into. Mentalité ou comment que nous devons penser bien. Philippians 4, uh, chapter 4, verse 8 says, uh, Philippians 4, chapter, chapter 4, verse 8 says, Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, Whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. Meditate sous bagaille ça yo. Why meditate? Why meditate to live by faith? Meditate. Qui tout qui ça on doit méditer par la foi. Because right thinking 
Parce que l'on pense bien. Pensando correctamente. L'on pense correctement. <rire> Pensando correctamente. Nos asegura que vamos a ganar la batalla. Right thinking will make sure, will assure that we will win the victory. We'll win. We already have won the victory. Let me just say that. But the battles and the things that we have to face in our daily living, right thinking and meditating on the word of God will assure us, will hold us secure that we're going to win the battle. We're going to win the good fight of faith. Lord, pensez et méditez sous parole, mon Dieu, ça capable d'aider au grandir dans la foi. And in turn, we'll win the battle against worry. Il est dit au monde de victoire sur le monde. 1 John chapter 4 verse 15 says that confessing Jesus 1 John chapter 4 verse 15 confessing that Jesus is the son of God God abides in him and we abide in God. So if we abide in God there's no reason to go and worry when we have our confidence in the Lord. Nous n'avons aucune raison pour nous inquiéter nous parce que nous gagnons bon Dieu dans la vie. Whoever is born of God, quelle que soit la parole de Dieu, overcomes the world. Sorti dans le monde là. And this is the victory. Et c'est ça qui est la victoire. That has become, that has overcome the world. Il sorti dans le monde là. Our faith. La foi. Amen. La foi nous. Thank you, Lord. I bring this, brothers and sisters, because, like I said in the beginning, I know. We are so used to, yeah, faith, I gotta have faith in God, and I gotta do this, but faith is more than words, because faith la without works is dead. La faith without works is dead. So, la foi sans la parole, c'est sans in Hebrews parole. chapter 11, 6, it says it's impossible to please God if you don't have any faith. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 16, it says it's impossible to gain la foi sans la parole dans mon Dieu. So this message is really just an encouragement, and it's just a, a reminder. Verset ça, c'est un encouragement qui est capable de rappeler nous. Of realizing that we are just in the eyes of God. Rappeler nous que nous vraiment et bien sous Dieu mon Dieu. That we are just because of the blood of Jesus Christ that has covered us. Nous juste parce que le sang de Jésus couvre nous. So it's no longer Melissa that God is is seeing. C'est pas même Melissa qui l'a encore. C'est un autre Melissa parce que c'est un bon Dieu. It's the blood of Jesus Christ that's over me. Parce que bien sans Jésus sous lui même. So we can approach His throne of grace. Nous sommes capables d'approcher de la grâce de Dieu. With assurance. Avec assurance. With thanksgiving. Oui, nous remercions. And saying, God, you know, thank God that I was a drug addict and I was an alcoholic, but man, the blood of Jesus Christ covered all that garbage. Amen. And he made me worse. How many know that God is so good? How many believe that God is good? How many want to live by faith for real? How many of you are so joyful that you're just before the eyes of God? And it's by the blood of Jesus Christ that is still for us. You see, none of the of the things that Jesus did on that cross or that obedience that Jesus had to the point of death was not in vain. And so our acceptance of Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior is not in vain either. que Jésus Christ la croix en vain. bien, même que nous Jésus Christ dans la vie, nous pas en vain. Jesus overcame the world. Jésus dans le monde. And by our faith, we can do the same. Et à travers la foi, nous nous faire. That's why faith is so important. C'est ça que la foi est vraiment important. Thank you for joining the NBMI experience today. Like, comment, and subscribe at www.facebook.com front slash NBMINY or our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com front slash NBMICHURCH. Also check out our new and improved website at www.newbeginningschurches.com. And finally, check out our new awesome church app, available on both Android and Apple platforms. Search your app store for NBMICHURCH and be blessed.